going on dudes um so i was having problems with this game when it first came out um at first i was running it at uncapped frames no v-sync on and i was getting over 200 frames sometimes and it still felt like garbage um so then i looked through some forums and some people recommended capping your frames at 60 and turning v-sync on and that was admittedly it was a lot better but 60 frames per second is not like the standard nowadays you know a game needs to come out being able to push 100 frames on an average pc i would say in order to be competitive nowadays um but i was just messing around with some stuff last night and i figured out how to fix it for me so hopefully this works for you guys um unfortunately i don't i can't get it to happen again now it's completely fixed it won't go back to how it was so I will put a I'll put a little clip here from my stream a few days ago when when the game first launched and how it was running, and um, we'll compare it to how it is now. Yeet! Here come the jitters. It's fine for a bit and then it's not. That is weird. This is so weird. That's him right there. Can't play like this, dude. How do I have 160 FPS and it's this jittery? Yeet. So as you guys can see in the upper hand corner of my screen, uh, obviously my frames are uncapped. I will show you my settings in game for video. I'm running borderless just because it's easier while you're streaming to run borderless. I know it's a sin. Um, V-Sync on, frame rate unlimited, and graphics quality enhanced. So. I mean, as you can see, there's no stutters at all. It's so smooth. I'm so dead here. I'm so dead. <laughs> it won't help you 1v3 people. <laughs> it's, it's running incredibly smooth at, a, at roughly 200 frames per second, which is sick. I've always wanted to play Halo at, at a high frame rate. So I will show you the exact settings that I used to achieve this. We go into the NVIDIA control panel. So this will require you to have an NVIDIA graphics card, but I feel like most people do already. What you're gonna wanna do is go to manage 3D settings over here. Click on program settings. You're going to need to add this game. So you're gonna click on add and find the Master Chief collection and add selected program. Then when it's selected as your program that you're customizing, you're going to change two things, or ensure that these are on these settings at least. You're going to go to the bottom half of this list. Preferred refresh rate. Um, so no matter what you have your refresh rate set to on your monitor, some games, if you use the, the uh, application controlled setting here, the game will set it to what it thinks it should be. So for Halo, since it was originally a console game, it's going to set it to like 30 or 60 it, it, it's really I can't I can't tell what it sets it to because it doesn't actually report to afterburner MSI afterburner what your actual FPS is so either way you want that on highest available your preferred refresh rate and the other thing is vertical sync as much as this sucks I know this isn't normal turn it on and put it on fast um, vsync does add a slight amount of input delay but I think it's worth it to be able to run this game at this at these frame rates and without stuttering. So colors to it, and it and it runs great now. So yeah, I hope that helps, guys. Um, that's what helped me. The game's running great now. So leave a comment. Let me know if it helped you guys. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe come hop in my stream sometime and let me know that it worked for you. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys. Thanks.